we have to just documenting everything because we are putting a lot of that stuff online after that. Um, we had a very interesting discussion about um, new professionals groups. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a follow-up of yesterday's session where um, some of you had already talked about um, the challenges of managing new professionals groups and uh, we were talking now about more the international aspect of that. Um, and another background was that um, I was interested to hear um, ideas or to find out more about how the new professionals group um, in IFLA could look, look like in the future because we are quite an open group, we don't have that much structure inside and um, so we, we try to compare a little bit what, what are the experience on the national level and what could be done to, to uh, create a new model because we are now in a position to do that. We can just write down our ideas and propose it to IFLA and they are hopefully going to accept these ideas. And we found out that um, the, um, we, we talked about different aspects like finances for example. And, um, but the most important thing turned out to be the structure, I think. Uh, so we uh, we looked at the more conventional sections at IFLA, we have something like a, a treasurer, a, um, a chair, a secretary and so on. And we thought that this might not apply to new professionals that much because it's hard to attract their attention for a longer time, a longer period. So we found out that it would be nice to have some project related tasks, like for, um, there's somebody you know, responsible for um, uh, a, a conference or um, to send in a proposal for a conference or for a short-term project. So people would be a little bit closer to the group, would be committed to the group, but uh, won't have this kind of vague position, officer position as usually. Um, I just check the notes. Um, yeah, the other big thing was the um, on-site presence of members of the group because um, usually new professionals don't, cannot come to all the conferences. So we talked about possibilities to stay updated with each other by doing online meetings, regular online meetings. And um, I think in the end we came up with some uh, ideas how to, how to follow up um, uh, from this point on because we, we, we've seen we see big potential of people that would like to engage with each other during this conference, during other events. And there are already some, uh, a lot of uh, groups of new professionals and it would be nice to, to build a grid, a worldwide grid of people and to know what the others are doing. Um, so we had some quite practical ideas how to do that. The first one would be and a conference that takes place this year, I think in November, which is the Library 2.012 conference. It's a virtual free conference which takes place in multiple time zones. And uh, people can send in their proposals and there will be a program of about three days, I think. And we thought that we would just try to, to send in a proposal for um, all of us to, uh, uh, to join us, uh, some of these sessions, or one of these sessions, and to just, um, well, keep each other updated on what we've been doing from now on. And so maybe it would be possible to have uh, like regular meetings on an international level uh, through some kind of online, online environment like Skype or some teleconferencing program to just um, stay updated on what we are doing, not necessarily project or task related, but also just to, to, well, to stay in touch because if you're working in a group of people and you know each other very well, there's often a core of people, a core of, um, of members, I mean, and if there's somebody new who wants to join, it's maybe a little bit hard to do that. And by meeting constantly online and providing an environment where every, everyone can join, it's probably a little more easy to do that. Um, another thing, a really great idea thing, is the Couchsurfer database or some kind of Couchsurfer approach um, for librarians or for new professionals. Um, Anka had this idea. Um, because lots of students and new professionals um, lack the money to go to other events, so they are usually very happy about online activities, but in order to make it possible for them to go to on-site events, it would be nice to, well, to save the money for the accommodation. And uh, we know each other now, we have 
have a lot of friends in other countries. So it would be nice to, to just have a database where you can find some, some peer friends, colleagues, who would um, offer you a, a bed to stay or a place to stay during the conference. But it's not only about the conference, sorry. My idea was based actually on, on, on um, a thing that I've heard a lot, uh, especially among young uh, librarians, the ones that don't have a lot of money. They would like to visit libraries to see other libraries, not even, not in a conference, but just, you know, go, go in a city and visit a library. But it's much easier for you to get the feeling of that library if you have a librarian that, from there that guides you in the library. And if you also can use his couch or her couch, then it's even actually possible from, from money-wise, you know, from the, from the money perspective. So it's just like a um, couch surfer model, but on, on uh, I'm interested in libraries, so something like this. Not only events, but yeah, also more general features. approach. Yeah, but no, of course. Yeah. But yeah, maybe the, the events are um, yeah. a, a specific um, uh, impulse for, for people to get in touch with. What's next? Um, of course, Bobcat is really interesting for for uh, the international um, community. Um, it's a symposium for new professionals, for students exactly, and it's also organized by students. It takes place every January in, in Europe, in some place in Europe, and um, well, it's usually a great place to gather, to meet each other again, and to get in touch. Um, and probably it's possible to do some kind of um, joint workshop during the next podcast, which takes place in Ankara, in Turkey, in January 2013. Um, we have talked about very much in that session, so maybe the others have something to add.